For these graduating soldiers of the 2nd Battalion, 39th Infantry Regiment, we give thanks for their devotion and support of the United States of America. Thank you for the tireless efforts of our cadre who have prepared our soldiers to defend those who cannot defend themselves. Thank you for the leadership of our unit's command team. Place your hand of protection on them and ever remind them that you are their ultimate commander in chief. God of the ages, before your eyes all empires rise and fall, yet you are changeless. Be near us in this age of care, and in these moments of remembrance, uphold those who work and watch and wait and weep and love. By your spirit, give rise to us to answer the call to defend the weak and the vulnerable. Strengthen us to comfort those who mourn and work through us to establish Jesus. Bless this Christian America and her leaders to wisely combat the slavery of terror that tries to enslave the souls of your people. Protect and guide our soldiers who are fighting the foreign fields. Go before them and defeat the enemy of the soul who would see these heroes lose vision and hope. Finally, Father, let us remember that you are our creator, and it is from you that we receive our marching orders. Give us hope through your Son, and grant us the strength to rely on your holy word for encouragement. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. This review is the last official formation of the training cycle. Not everyone successfully completes this difficult period of training, but those in formation today represent disciplined, motivated, physically fit soldiers who exemplify the Army's seven core values. Loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. They are imbued with the warrior from left to right are the 282nd Army Band under the command of Ward Officer 1, Thomas W. Jackson, Jr. Graduating soldiers from Company A, B, and C, the Battalion Color Guard, and graduating soldiers from companies D, E, and F. Identified by their distinct who serves as the executive officer for the 2nd Battalion, 39th Infantry Regiment. He and the battalion staff are... Put the reviewing officer for today's graduation is the commander of the 2nd Battalion, 39th Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Benjamin T. DiMaggio. On his left is Command Sergeant Major Kenneth Hendricks, the senior non-commissioned officer, master trainer, and principal advisor to the commander. Troops will now bring forward the colors and persons to the honor.
Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Richard Stanko from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Tammy. 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 The soldier leader of the cycle for Company A is Specialist Nathan Matthews from Hempstead, Texas. The soldier of the cycle for Company A is PV2 Alexander Walker from Richmond, Virginia. The high The outstanding drill sergeant of the cycle for Company C is drill sergeant Joshua McNary from Fayetteville, North Carolina. The outstanding drill sergeant of the cycle for Company D is drill sergeant Christopher Walsh from Benton, New Hampshire. The soldier leader of the cycle for Company D is Private Nicholas Walker from Dallas, Texas. The soldier of the cycle for Company B is Specialist Jessica Rosso from Tallahassee, Florida. The highest scoring basic rifle marksmanship for Company D, hitting 39 out of a possible 40 targets, is PFC Taylor Beals from Charlotte, North Carolina. The highest score on the end of cycle physical fitness test for Company D, scoring 342 points on the extended scale, is Private Logan Cabral from Tiverton, Rhode Island. How long you been standing still like that? Huh? Been standing still the whole time. Though. And that they one day may deploy and engage the enemies of our nation. They have elected to serve at a time when, when less than one percent of Americans serve in the military. And today, as they pass in front of you, I can say with great pride that they are all outstanding American soldiers. But being a soldier is not easy. A soldier gives up many of the freedoms that they fight to defend. They remain ready on a moment's service to deploy and defeat the enemy's our nation. And they do this in the harshest of climates, both in the sweltering heat to the blistering cold. And so the families here today, the success of your soldier is due largely to the support that they have received from you. You gave the Army a solid foundation that we could build upon. A foundation based in values and personal character. Thank you for your trust in the Army and our great nation. Now, to the AAA soldiers in formation, yeah, yeah. congratulations. Yeah. You've accomplished what you first set to do. set out to be a soldier in the United States Army. The Soldier's Creed is your declaration of your unshakable commitment to the ideals this nation was founded upon and will continue to guarantee. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as Specialist Nathan Matthews leads us.
the guy in the Thank you.